Two of the most important issues facing society today in this post-COVID era are education and employment. Hi, I'm Morris Fideli, a full-time recruiter at the International for Impact Thrive project. Over the last 35 years, I've hired thousands as leader of various startups through to being vice chair of organizations with over 37,000 members across three continents. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, or SDG 4, deals with addressing quality education and lifelong learning. SDG 8 addresses the ability for all of us to have decent work and fruitful lives. It promotes sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. These are rights that many of us expect, yet Target 8.6 of the SDG 2030 Agenda states that by 2020, yes, that was last year, we should have substantially reduced proportion of youth, not in employment, education or training, set to be achieved through Indicator 56, which measures youth employment rate by formal and informal sectors. So how have we been performing? An International Labour Organization report on SDG 8 shows that less than half of the objectives have been attained and, that even be and that's even before COVID became an issue in 2020. Counterintuitively, it is believed that COVID is having a positive effect on the decent work agenda by raising awareness of the issues and positively impacting job creation. Currently, roughly half of the world's population, including most from Southeast Asian countries, live on $2 US a day. SDG 8 sees that every country provides its citizens the ability to have a good life, irrespective of their background, race or culture. Although having a job does not guarantee the ability to escape from poverty. With GDP rates growth over the last few years of less than 4.8% year on year and less than the 7% growth rate targeted in SDG 8, coupled with the COVID-19 pandemic, we are heading for the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. SDG 4 champions universal access to quality education with a call to all nations to allocate around 5% of their GDP and at least 15% of their expenditure towards SDG 4 targets for education. Yet, as of 2019, June, there are 750 million illiterate adults, half of which are based in Southeast Asia, well short of the target. Furthermore, based on Indicator 4B, it was envisaged that by now we should have substantially expanded globally the number of scholarships available for developing countries. As stewards of this planet, we must support the youth to build a better future through inclusive education and decent employment and career development opportunities. Therefore, on behalf of the youth, it requires number one, empowerment. The road to success is long, requires passion, persistence and perspiration. Yes, that means hard work. Number two, determination. Learn how to make an impact and build a better future for all. Whenever we face adversity, therein lies an opportunity to do better. And number three, opportunity. With inclusiveness in education, opening up doors to more prospects. In other words, career development. Always aim to be the best at what you do. So you're probably wondering by now, how can you get ahead? Maga kabataan, gusto nyo, malaman, kung ano ito, di ba? How? Let me tell you. It starts with taking ownership of your situation. So I have four steps for you. One, become entrepreneurial. Increased unemployment rates have seen a rise in entrepreneurship in millennial youth. The United Nations has developed a framework to address the growing interest by millennials into entrepreneurship. In supporting young entrepreneurs, distinguished professors from our team propose a range of business models for sustainable innovation. Check out the article on fostering sustainable innovation through young entrepreneurship online from our blog series. Number two, develop skills and experience. Will's theory is essential in many roles on the uh, job experience is necessary to truly give you the breadth of exposure, develop team building skills, shape your acumen, develop your confidence and cement your ability to deliver what is required on time and to specification in a commercial setting. 
take part in reputable volunteering and internship programs. In many cases, it will deliver your dream full-time role. Number three, obtain higher training. Make learning a lifelong objective. You are only as good as your knowledge allows you to be. Standards of education are increasing and your aim is to be in the top percentile, thereby placing you ahead of the masses. Develop your skills and competencies in adjacent fields, thereby being able to offer a more rounded expertise. Make your own customized scholarship program for yourself. Number four, develop your network. Who you know can often be far more valuable than what you know, or kakilala. Take the time to develop your network of contacts via on-the-job placement and social media. Cast a wide net and get to know others from all walks of life. Whenever you can, seek out mentors and supporters. You can do all of these activities concurrently. Uh, great opportunities exist in this post-COVID world for those who are willing to learn uh, the skills to develop a social or environmental enterprise focused on solving some of our current pressing worldly challenges. Think climate change, epidemics, carbon emissions, uh, water management and purification, uh, brain computer interface, uh, robotic surgery, uh, food security solutions, improving crop yields, uh, solar nuclear energy, extending the frontiers of space, and many, many more. Entrepreneurs leverage education and generate employment for themselves and the communities around them. As a final thought, I appreciate that volunteering is one of the best ways to get started and achieve long-term employment. It gives you varied work experience in a commercial setting and allows you to gain career building skills, access to network of contacts and mentors, as well as ongoing training programs. Like most of the successful people in this world, dare to challenge the norm, be innovative, join leading organizations in developing solutions for a more prosperous future. Thank you.